Tina Zink, the Serene Stamper from Nova Scotia, Canada, and I have a really fun video to share with you. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's called the Emboss Resist Spotlighting Technique, and I recently shared this on my blog and had some requests um, if I would do a video for it. And I may have actually done a video quite a few years ago for this, I'm not sure, but it's based on a, a card that I made years ago using the Lovely as a Tree stamp set, and that's what I did again on this one. So this is the Emboss Resist Spotlighting Technique. So when I made this card, I didn't actually line up the circles perfectly, but that's okay, it's still pretty. And everyone that saw it that had never done this technique before asked me, how the heck did you do that? Could you do a video? And it's really easy, so I was super happy to share the video with you. Um, here's the one I did in the video. And um, in the video, I didn't mount it on the Knight of Navy cardstock. I did that afterwards just to add some more blue and I used the squares, uh, square dies instead of the circle punch. Okay, and um, then I did another one. This one is using the very vintage stamp set, it's a host only stamp set and it's beautiful and it's just on Whisper White cardstock. Can you see the detail on that? Like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So let me show you how easy it is to do this technique. You can use virtually any stamp set that you have at home. The main tools are the versa marking pad, white embossing powder, and a heat tool. So if you have those, you're ready to rumble. So let's get stamping. Okay, the first thing I am going to do is I'm taking my Lovely as a Tree stamp set and I'm using this image. I'm working with one ink pad. Well, besides the first mark, because we are going to be doing some heat embossing. So I'm using the Knight of Navy. Just ink that up really well. So I'm just going ahead and stamping it down nice and firm. There we have it. Now I'm using the Merry Christmas to All stamp set. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas. I'm going to turn this into a Christmas card. I'm just going to line that up right there. I'm going to stagger them a little bit. Okay, so now I'm taking my clear block, picking up those stamps. So there's my Merry Christmas. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so I have cleaned my stamp. Coming back to some Whisper White cardstock. And I'm taking my embossing buddy. And I'm going to ink this up with my first mark. Inking it up really well. I'm just stamping at the top because I'm going to um, I'm going to use my layering square framelit dies to um, to cut these out just in a moment. So now that I have that, I'm sprinkling on my white embossing powder. And I'm going to set that with my heat tool. Okay, so you really want to make sure that all that powder is melted and uh, I know it's hard to see on the camera but when you're finished embossing with your heat tool just kind of um, turn your paper in different angles and just make sure that all that powder is melted. Okay, so now I have a piece of scrap paper underneath this because I'm going to be sponging on some of that blue ink. So I'm just using our sponge brayer inking that up really well with the Knight of Navy ink and this is the emboss resist because that heat embossing is going to resist this ink 
and it's always a wow. So I'm just rolling on my ink. And the darker that you go, the more those trees are going to pop through that ink. Can you see how they're starting to come through? Now I didn't clean this sponge sprayer the last time I used it and there's actually a little bit of green in there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep putting on my blue. I want the blue to be really dark. You can really see those trees popping out now. So now you want to wipe off the ink from the trees. You can use an old rag like I'm doing, or you can use a um, paper towel, a baby wipe. And then you have your trees that have embossed it through the ink. Isn't that neat? That's embossed resist. So now I want to cut these out. So I'm taking my layering square framelit dies. So because I'm cutting three squares, I don't want my die to be too big because I want them to fit nicely onto my card. So I've got my big shot here with my magnetic platform, my plate, and then I'm just gonna put this down here. So I want to stagger these. I don't want them to be lined up perfectly onto my card. So I'm just gonna start over here and up a little bit. And run that through the big shot. Okay, set that aside. And then I'm going to go, let's see, down a little bit. Last one, I think I will put it right about there. Run that through. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside because I actually have an idea to use this bit for another card. So I am done with the square die. Move my big shot. So all you're going to do is line up those cutout bits right onto the stamped image. I'm gonna use my liquid glue for this. It's really easy to do because you can just line up those branches. And the middle one. And here I've got that little curve line, so that's an easy one to line up with the ground. And then the last one. And there you go. That is how you do the spotlight emboss technique, emboss resist technique. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you the green one I did with the circles. So you get an entirely different look. Didn't line them up very well, went off, so I just trimmed it, but that's okay. Looks good, I think. And then of course in the blue. So let's try one more card using an entirely different stamp set. And of course you can layer your um, stamped images onto colored cardstock, but I'm just using Whisper White as my card base to keep it simple. I am going to use a very vintage host stamp set. I love this image here. So I want to give that a try. 
And I think for this one, I'm going to pull in my stamp apparatus just to make sure I get a really good, clear um, image, very nice dark image with this one. So I'm going to put in my cardstock, put my magnet down, make sure I've got this straight here, and grab my sentiment, put that on as well. Just decide where I want them. I think that looks good. I think for this one I'm going to use my Berry Burst ink pad. I'm just going to ink that up really well. And then close it. Very nice. Okay, so I have my stamp on my clear block and I'm inking it up now with my first mark. Bring it down once. I'm going to put on my white powder. And I'm going to set that with the heat tool. Okay, so that's embossed. Now it's time to go in with the roller I'm using the same ink. Isn't that pretty? So fun watching it come through the ink when you're rolling it on. And I'm just wiping that off with the damp cloth. All that ink's coming off where the white has been embossed. So you can really see that pop out. Isn't that nice? So for this card I'm using my 1 and 3 8 circle punch and I am just going to punch, let's see, I'm going to punch those two roses I think. Bring my card back and line it up. I like using the glue for this because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you need to move things around a bit. So there's my finished card. Very simple, but isn't that beautiful? So I have an idea on using up these two bits. I'm going to cut these out and I will be right back. Okay friends, I have gone and cut these two pieces. I've got some cardstock here, so I'm taking my stamp again, taking the same ink pad. Okay, this time I think I'm going to turn my card and stamp this right about there. And taking this piece, I'm going to add my glue. And I just used the uh, layering oval dies for this. I used the scallop oval and line it up. So it's just reverse of what we did on the first cards. But that way, nothing goes to waste. Pretty cool. Up my sentiment. I'm going to stamp this right there. So here's the first card and the other one. I really love how those turned out. Um, I hadn't pre-planned those prior to the video. Sometimes I like to just experiment while I'm filming and just see what um, happens. So I think those are beautiful. So now let's try the same thing with the Lovely as a Tree. So here's the leftovers from this card. I'm going to put this color aside, get the Night of Navy back here. And 
Let's see. Yeah, we'll have to stick with it that way. I think we're going to put it up on top this time. I don't know if you guys can hear all the jingle and jangles behind me, but I've got my cat meowing and a dog <laughs> underneath my feet, and I've got a buzzer going upstairs because I've got bread in the oven, so man, there's all kinds of activity going on while I'm stamping these cards. Okay, there we go. Add this piece, and you know, I, you could use Stampin' Dimensionals if you want to put these pieces on, but I actually... Personally, I prefer these um, flush onto the card base and then line them up. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. How cool is that? And I still have the Merry Christmas out. Let's see, how will that look down here? Will it fit? Ooh, it'll just fit, I think. Let's open that up. All right. Very carefully line this up. Ta-da! Isn't that nice? Where's the original card? So here's the first card, and here's the card using the reverse cutout. Pretty cool. And of course, if you wanted to, especially since it's a Christmas card, I would probably add some glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Because Christmas cards need glitter, right? Don't you agree? So I've got my fine tip glue pen. So I'm just squeezing out some of that glue. I, um,. Got a new cell phone, you guys, and I'm working on the settings for the videos and cameras. So I know my video and photos aren't maybe spot on when it comes to the colorings and shadows and things. So bear with me while I learn this new phone of mine. So I'm dabbing a little bit onto the trees as well. I love my glitter. And because this is a Christmas card, I'm going to do the same thing. Glitter is optional, but glitter, you know, glitter is magical. So I do love my glitter. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, dabbing diamonds. Ugh. Yes. Look at that. Can you see that? So now it looks Christmassy. And there's the other one. So there you go my friends, the emboss resist spotlighting technique. It's just an easy, easy technique, super fun, but my goodness, it is just one of those wow techniques and I think you're really going to have a, f a lot of fun with it, especially since you can use so many, pretty much all of your stamps really. So just use what you have and have fun. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping.